Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I just wanted to quickly recap how to apply tolerance and then how to also get the very famous whole note as we do right here on this like top left corner. So on this sheet right here, the conduit bracket and then the axle stabilizer, we have one of each type of tolerance. We have our limit right here. We have our bilateral and then we have our unilateral. So in Fusion, how do I create these? So uh, for here, my 2.25, I have my bilateral. So if I just delete this real quick, go back to the dimension, I can then kind of just click here on my side. I just have 2.25. According to my answer key, I want that to be a bilateral plus or minus 0 0.02, so two hundredths of an inch. In Fusion, I have to double click with my mouse, left click, then I have to open this tolerance tab right here. Now when I open this, it'll ask me if I want symmetrical, deviation, or a limit. So symmetrical is your bilateral, deviation is that unilateral. So if I click symmetrical, type my tolerance, I want that uh, plus or minus 0 0.02, so plus or minus 0 0.02, that I can click uh, close. Perfect, now that one's done. Uh, here on my unilateral, so I'm gonna delete this one, go to dimension again, click on the, edge of my circle, place it, hit escape. I double click here. This one, I want a unilateral. So I go back to tolerance, hit deviation. On my answer key, I have, I'm going plus zero two and I'm subtracting zero. So I'm moving in that positive direction to get an upper limit. Uh, back in fusion. Uh, for my upper tolerance, I want that point zero two. And then my lower tolerance, I'm just gonna put it at zero. Now some people get the glitch here where it's just the minus zero instead of a decimal place. If that happens to you, it's okay. So if you just, as long as it says subtracting zero, you are okay. Uh, then we hit close. Uh, now here, this limit, this is gonna be the next one. So as we were kind of making this in class, your thickness for this side here, here and here on the axle stabilizer, it should be 0.255. We wanna find the middle value of our upper and lower limit, and that's what we wanted to mention. So we can have that equal distance up and down, you know, if we were making this. So if I'm starting just a normal dimension, grab my dimension, zoom in, it says 0.26. Now that's not the true value because this is limited to only two decimal places. So if I double click here, I go to linear precision and I change this to one, two, three. So this is gonna go to that third decimal place and click. Perfect, now this is a, its true value. If you change this to four, you add that zero after, so you know you're only limited to three decimal places. Uh, now I'm gonna click my tolerance. So I don't need a bilateral, don't need a unilateral, I wanna limit. So I click limit. Now, uh, it just throws some numbers in here, so we're adding 0 0.01 and subtracting 0 0.01, but that's not right. I'm starting at, if I change this to zero, I'm starting at 0.255. I want to get to 0 0.270. So I, what do I need to add? Well, I could do the just the addition in my head, but if not, you can pull out a calculator. Your answer is going to be 0 0.015, and that's that value. Now we're see it. We're at 2.27. The same thing. Um, if I was starting at zero on my lower, I'm at 255. If I want to get the 0.24. Well, I probably need to subtract the same thing, 0 0.015. And now there I go. Now I'm at 0.24. Then I hit close. So that's how you do your unilateral, your bilateral over here, and your or unilateral bilateral limit. This is the same thing as it was here on the conduit bracket, but I just used the other one as an example. Now the very famous question is, is everyone's asking, how do I get this? Well, if you click dimension and just kind of grab the circle, you'll get your value. As we can see right here, we have, I have 0.138. This is saying 0.14. So if I had to double click this, change my linear precision to three decimal places, there we go. That's how I get that. But how do I get this? Well, if you really wanted to, you can like type in whatever values you wanted here to an extent, um, but that's not good. We don't wanna do any typing. So if I delete this, Right here under text, so it's like uh, right next to dimension, go to text. I want whole and thread note. So if I click on this, 
then I can click my circle right here. So it will create kind of like a sample kind of of me, uh, for me, of the hole that I have. So I have a counterbore with my depth, I have my diameter of all four holes, but still this is not exactly like I have it here. So what I want, you're gonna have to double click in here and then manually type in everything. So if I click delete and uh, I need my symbol, I need my diameter symbol that I have. So I click on symbol here, click my diameter, then I can go typing. So 0.138. Uh, same thing for my tolerance here. I have to go back to symbol, plus or minus, then I can do 0 0.001. That's, and then if you hit enter or anything, um, don't hit enter kind of like spaces out. If you hit close, and uh, then go back and double click, it'll keep your progress. You just have to start over kind of again. Um, so my depth is 0.16, need to change that one. So 0.163, go to my symbol, plus or minus, 0 0.001. So the only thing for these that's kind of a pain is that you have to manually type everything. So uh, once you do your whole note, uh, it gives you a good starting place, and then you just have to go manually and type. So you know, for this example, use the answer key that I'm giving you, like these, these PDFs here are exactly what I'm looking for, so you can copy them as you please. So, hopefully you found this video helpful, and yeah, see you in class.